some levels are good, everything is visible. Let's get started. Reverse nodes in K group. So it's a twist on the reverse and linked list problem, only that we have a number K, and it means for every group of K nodes in the linked list, reverse that segment. So we have this list, right? The first group of three we see in front of us. So reverse everything here, make one point to four, make uh, three the beginning of the linked list, and move on. So you'd have this uh, as the result. You can notice that these three were reversed. They are what they point to. The direction of their pointers were, were reversed. And that makes three the head. Fairly simple. And because this is less than three, three elements left after that, nothing happens to those ones. Uh, this is one. So this would just reverse everything, the entire linked list, pretty much. So seven. Uh, oh, actually, hmm, would it? Okay, that's different, actually. Um, six is a whole group. There's nothing else in the group, so nothing changes, really, about it. So everything stays the same. All right, fair. That's fair. Uh, and so um, we can look through one of these quizzes just to cement it. So there are three elements here. So 608. It's going to start with 608. It's the only 608 here. So... It's gonna it has to be this, right? So you know it's 608, then 701, then uh, then 578, right? Then that should be it. Just to give us an idea of what it is we're trying to solve. Mm, let me see, is there another good quiz that I can use? Okay, for two, seven and six, right? Zero two one nine. 6, 3, right, so this should be it. Uh, group of two elements. And we don't need this in this short solution. But we can hop into the actual solution right now where um, you can skip the naive approach, use a stack to pop some things and Put some things, but we don't need that. Instead, this diagram tells the whole story. <sighs> so, here K is three, right? So we're gonna have three, two, one, four, five, because four and five are only two elements, so they don't they're not up to a group of three, so they don't get reversed. So we need a dummy, dummy pointer that points to the head, the former head. Um, we need this pointer that will traverse the linked list. We need a tracker. Uh, it's equal to that thing that's going to traverse the linked list and it determines if a group of k nodes exists in the linked list. So this is what we use to track if we can get three nodes to reverse. So move it k nodes forward. Uh, it's going to move uh, one, two, three. It's going to stop at three. Then once it, once you've done that, we know we have a group. That means we have a group because this is not normal. We know we have a group of three nodes to reverse. And what we're going to do, we're going to use our current, previous, and next uh, variables that are a stable for reversing a linked list. And what that does, next is null, previous is null, uh, current is pointed to the head. We start to reverse the linked list, um, which is a standard process. We point next to the current, the next value of the current thing and uh, you point the current thing to the previous thing, to what previous is pointing to. Uh, then you set previous to current, to what's current, and then you move current over to what was next. Uh, that's basic standard procedure of reversing the linked list. I think the previous video covers that, uh, shows the code very simply. It's also in the utils file in the GitHub uh, repo, the G GitHub repo for this pattern. This reverse linked list pattern if you've been following along we're dealing with patterns of these technical interview questions and so it's fairly powerful the course reversing a linked list we can skip all that till we're done reversing that a set list all right fantastic so now we've reversed this list successfully uh, previous points at three 
our current is you notice that they are now disjointed and so we need to reattach it so we've reversed the uh, segment now we need to reattach it so we use this variable to point to the head um, we connect one to what's current four all right so you know we now notice we've attached that already and then this pointer we move to previous um, and you will see why actually yeah what was there we point to previous while well, we move the pointer um, to the end here so that we we can have it mark where we stopped pretty much um, then we'll move the point tracker over there because tracker is going to start again counting uh, three times one two no it's going to break uh, it's because you can't traverse anymore so we've reached the end of the list and that's it we returned a node that dummy node that we had in the beginning that was pointing to the head um uh, it's because to re you need the head of a linked list to return its value anyway um and so we did some magic here yes exactly so we moved this dummy at some point to point to what was previous that the former head we detached it from here and attached it to previous this pointer was still there anyway so yeah that's all there is to it um we can look at the code for it what, something to note we have this reverse linked list function that reverses an entire linked list but in this case we have one that reverses just k nodes so we pass in a valid variable k not just the head and we have uh same previous current next but now we're looping k times so and reversing k elements in the list that's what this does and we return the previous and the current again because they get disconnected uh, like in this diagram um so when did they yeah like once they were done they were um, disconnected so you notice that they're disconnected here at the end so we return previous we return at the end we return previous at current uh, that's what you're seeing here so we come over here reverse k groups we pass in the head of the linked list the k number of the this group size of nodes you want to reverse and the dummy that points to the head the head of the linked list um, the pointer that traverses the whole list so while the pointer is not equal to null um, we identify a group of k nodes first that's the first thing we do um, uh, there's a tracker you can ignore this traverse key nodes to check if there are enough nodes to traverse um, if it ever if the track ever becomes null just break out of it otherwise we go next uh, this is the thing that moves moves the tracker at the beginning right this tracker thing that moves it at the beginning all the way here right you can not notice the tracker how it moves to three right so that's what this is doing. Um, you can ignore this. It's like debugging code. Then if there are not enough nodes to traverse, break out of this loop, right? Um, break out of this while loop over here. Otherwise, um, get the updated nodes, the previous and the next over here. And use this uh, uh, pointer dot next uh, that whole thing we spoke about before it's a lot of code and maybe the console logs are clogging things up a bit but um, it is not too bad not too bad uh, move pointer to previous uh, set this to current so this is what reattaches the link list to what it needs to be at and this sets it to the last to the new the mark of the last thing that was reversed and then once you're done with the loop once pointer is no longer anything right pointer becomes null uh, we're at the end of the list just return uh, that dummy that 
uh, it points at the head of the list dummy dot next that points at the head of the link of the link list um, so I hope that's clear no hope it's hopefully not clear as mud um, but that's all there is to it really that's all there is to it thank you for watching um, let's cover the time complexity of this whole thing is um, 12 n because uh, it ends with the list and the space complexity is one because you need a constant number of additional variables no matter the size of the nodes to get this done and that's all you might need to come again i know if i i for one definitely need to come again and review some of the stuff here but i think it kind of makes sense it kind of makes sense um you step through the whole thing and yeah it does make sense dummy dot next is equal to the first thing in the link list so dummy dummy dot next is equal to the head of the link list mm. And I think because it's passed by reference is why it's never updated. Because it just always points to the head of the link list by reference. So when that changes, when that head changes, then um, everything adjusts. Right? Because the head is the head. It doesn't change. Okay. Uh huh. Cheers. Okay, because uh, pointer is equal to dummy here, and it's, a pa it's passed by reference, when we set pointer.next to this new previous, like a post reversal, uh, dummy.next is also updated to that. So uh, this dummy.next, when pointer.next is pointed to previous, you can see it's not the beginning of the link list. Um, dummy.next, I think it's updated. It could be wrong, though. I think it's updated. So dummy updates only once, and it's when pointer dot next changes. But because pointer is reassigned here, the link between it and dummy breaks. So that's how dummy dot next always ends up pointing at. For in this example, for for instance three when three is reversed instead of getting updated to uh six or something when pointer.next is updated. Alright. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.